God is not concerned about distance. He's concerned about obedience. All he needs is us to take that step of faith. And vision requires us to take steps of faith because God doesn't, again, measure those types of distances. He's like, I just need her to just take that one step of faith. Because here's the truth. If he assigns you, then he also fully equipped you. If he starts something in you and it's attached to your assignment... And you're not trying to be something you're not. God can't bless you. You pretend to be. So just be the best you that you're called to be because everybody else is taken. So God's assigned this to you that he's also fully equipped you. All right, another, next one. Vision. This is key. Vision will empower you to overcome fear. Again, we're talking about faith. Hi, babes. This is a day four of Christmas vlog. Block, block miss. Girl, I started this show so late and I have to like edit and post the same day and it's been hectic. But just got back from church and I'm about to do laundry since it's Sunday to, you know, relax and I want to deep clean and I have to go to the gym and then finish off with maybe go to Zara to check out their new collection and I'm gonna bring y'all with me but other than that that's it I have on the agenda so
try to go fix my screen on my phone because it's broken and the place was closed on Sunday. I should have checked before I drove. So now I'm about to go try some fits in Aritzia and I'm going to take you guys with me. Um, not doing too much today because it's Sunday. After Aritzia I'm going to come home and just chill and relax. So see you guys later. Let's see what Aritzia has. From perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The fourth stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low. Gaming on the low, the front stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been I just been Mobbing on the low I just been kissing a woman in an alley, but the story behind it is anything but romantic. Before landing a coveted role on the award-winning series The Crown, actress Rebecca Humphreys thought she'd met her own Prince Charming, a gifted stand-up comedian known for his high-energy performances. About five years into their relationship, he was cast on the UK's popular reality show Strictly Come Dancing. Rebecca's gut told her something was off about the new friendship he'd formed with his married dance partner. When she questioned him, he called her psycho, nuts, and mental. Then, on her birthday, he told her he was going out for an innocent drink with his dance partner, and Rebecca's worst fears came true. Her boyfriend caught on camera kissing his dance partner. Before she knew it, the explosive video made headlines around the world. Psycho, nuts, mental. All classic signs of gaslighting. Rebecca came in from London to share her warning for all. So tell us about your Hi, y'all. So I literally did laundry today in the midst of like everything that was going on, which is not much. Um, once a week. I do laundry. It's, it's kind of dark in here. Um, I wanted to post that video to show you guys if you guys are, you know, dealing with someone that is gaslighting or you think that your partner is gaslighting you. Um, I was just really here to really let relate the message and. That episode was really good and insightful. Um, I think you should definitely check out the video, watch it, and have um, a open mind to understanding what the doctor is saying about if you're a victim of getting gaslighting you and being dealing with someone that is a narcissistic. I won't lie to you, I do have traits where sometimes I am gaslighting my partner or I am, you know, being a narcissist with my partner and I'm learning to unlearn all of my bad traits. So, you know, I, me personally have dealt with it, I've done it, um, I'm trying to unlearn it. And I feel like with, you know, knowing that sometimes you do gaslight people or, you know, I don't do it intentionally. 
Um, but I don't, it's not that extreme. Like I don't, you know, call my partner like a psychopath. Like I don't do it to that extent, but I can say in the past I have done it to my partner where it's like, why do you think that? You're being crazy. And they aren't being crazy. They um, know the truth. <laughs> and I knew exactly what I was doing. And honestly, I shouldn't have done that to someone. But yeah. I just... Wanted to share the message and relate the message to see what you guys thought about it. Watch it. Let me know. It was super insightful because, you know, when you're in a situation and you're in love, you know, sometimes people choose to look on the other side and choose to not, you know, empathize no not empathize choose to overlook the little problems when they need to be like well that's not a good trait for my partner to have and gaslighting is a big no-no so to me in a relationship you should not feel like you're being gaslighted or you know if they're not telling you the truth and they're manipulating you into believing that they're telling you the truth that's toxic toxic behavior we don't condone that we love love we love you know someone that can communicate their problems their issues be honest me right now um i do know that i need to work on being more open-minded more with my partner this is referencing to my partner and my relationship romantically i do need to have more patience I do need to be able to trust my partner more because I have really bad trust issues, y'all. When I say it's bad, daddy issues, uh, what is it? Daddy issues <laughs> and all that. What is it? Why can I think of it? Daddy issues, trust issues, trauma, all of that. So I'm learning to be more patient more trusting in my partner and I'm, I'm trying to unlearn my bad toxic behavior where I'm like girl you can't be doing that let's do better and, and you know sometimes you just gotta take a step back sit back and being like damn that was not healthy of me I shouldn't have been doing that and you know just work on things but don't expect to change within you know the next day it takes about 28 days to break a bad habit 28 days to actually start implementing on breaking a bad habit so don't sweat it don't be too hard on yourself just do better than the day before set a goal and be mindful and be open So, I'm about to make my bed, and I'm going to decide if I want to meet my girlfriend. Or a snacky snack. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Mobbing on the low. Fucking on the low. Smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low. Scheming on the low. The front stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low. Mobbing on the low. Fucking on the low. Smoking on the low, I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The front stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, fucking on the low, smoking on the low. I still been plotting on the low, scheming on the low. The front stay from perfect, like everyone I know. I just been.
I got even during Catch Love Vibe. Um, I have on this really basic. I have on this basic dress with the slit on the side. Slick on the side. And I'm gonna put on some sneakers so you can see the vibe. Let me get on this thing. No. Slip on the side. I'm so no. No, boy. I'm so childish. But yeah. Let me get on this thing. Let me get on this thing. Let me get on this thing. Let me get on this and my booty is okay, okay. Yeah. Untouchable. These are the shoes that I want to wear with them. I feel like I definitely need some new shoes because I feel like I have now have like my new favorites and these are just like my favorites right now. But I can't focus because I'm about to leave. But I'm wearing the Mont Crazy in Love. Just I'm really there to catch a vibe. Oh god. So nothing to oh my god. The body spell everywhere, but okay, that's cool. I'm gonna show y'all with these sneakers on. Y'all can't still can't see, but that's just the vibe. See you guys when I get home. I'm doing it on my camera. Please can do 